Hi, I'm Brad with EHDD Architecture. I'm standing here in front of the Packard Foundation's home for the past 25 years. And today I want to take you through their new sustainable office building that extends their legacy here in Los Altos, California into the next century. So why don't you come with me? The foundation wanted a building that really felt like it fit into the Los Altos context, but was forward thinking and honest in its expression. To that end, we're using traditional materials like wood, glass, stone, and copper, but expressing them in a way that's very modern. Rain gardens divert stormwater runoff from an overloaded storm sewer system, filter it through these planted bio strips, and allow the water to infiltrate into the aquifer. We're now entering into the courtyard of the project. This is really the living room of this building. It's where the staff will come together to collaborate, meet informally, and where all the walls open up to different degrees. And you really take advantage of this great California climate. Right now we're in an office zone. And the office zone is a real good match to their work style and culture with workstations and enclosed rooms that can be used for meetings or as offices that match their needs. The wood comes from two sustainable sources. One is salvaged eucalyptus from Doyle Drive in San Francisco, and the other is FSC certified eucalyptus, which is the highest level of forest certification. This is designed to be the largest net zero energy building in California, which means we'll produce as much energy on site as we use over the course of a year. The way we make this replicable and affordable is by reducing energy use by over 65% over a conventional building. One way we accomplish this is designing a very narrow building that we can 100% daylight and then use efficient electric lighting that automatically dims with those light levels so we can completely harvest the energy savings in the space. Operable windows provide users control over their environment, but it's important for energy efficiency for those windows to be open and closed at the right times. This display provides information to occupants about when it is a good time to open and close windows depending on the outside conditions. Diverse spaces vary in size and formality to support a wide range of meetings. Video conferencing is integrated into most meeting spaces that allows them to connect remotely with grantees and others. The most formal of the meeting spaces is the boardroom, which occupies a unique position between the courtyard on one side and the original Packard Foundation office building across the green roof on the other. Conventional roofs keep the water out of a building, but this green roof does so much more. It provides habitat for birds and insects. It reduces the peak stormwater flow. It insulates a building interior, and it provides a stunning visual landscape for building occupants. Highly insulated walls and roof and triple element windows do such a good job of maintaining temperatures in the space that we eliminate nearly all need for heating and most of the need for cooling throughout the year. Sun shading is built into the design with elements such as deep overhangs, balconies, trellises and trees that keep sun off the facades and create a rich layering of light and shade. These strategies contribute to bringing energy use down as low as possible. Then to offset that energy use, a 292 kilowatt grid connected PV array covers the roof and provides all the renewable carbon free electricity for this building. This project is also designed to lead platinum standards, 
the highest level certification by the U.S. Green Building Council. More general than net zero energy, it covers not only energy but materials, site, indoor environmental quality, and water. One notable strategy that helps us achieve this rating is rainwater collection. All the water that falls on the roofs is captured through rainwater leaders down into underground storage tanks and then is used to flush toilets and to irrigate landscape. This is more than just a green building. It is about the foundation trying to model a sustainable future. The building is in service to help them achieve these broader goals.